What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of the More Motivation Podcast. Are you not entertained? So today we're going to be talking about opportunity, talent, and selling. Moving into 2020, right? So I got a few questions today, right? And I'll get into more of what you can expect going forward with this podcast. So let's jump into things, okay? So how do you take advantage of opportunities one of the ways you can take advantage of opportunities is by trying more by putting yourself in a position where there is more opportunities right because we all know it takes a lot of tries to be able to do something unless you're someone that just gets things right away but the more chances you give yourself the more likely you are to get that thing right so that's the first question of the day, okay? So our second question is, how do we sell without actually knowing it? So when you're going to a job interview, meeting a new person, or in a situation where there's a stranger on both sides, right? You're you're acting. Let's be real. You're acting in many, many ways, right? You, you want to give out the best first impression, right? Because first impression is everything. Whether if you look at someone and you think they're attractive, unattractive, and then you speak to them, you see how they think, you see how they navigate, you see how they behave, right? These are all things we do to indirectly sell or be sold, right? What attracts you to a person? What attracts you to get someone to, I guess, to hire someone? What about that person attracts you? These are the things about the person that you sold to. So we indirectly sell each and every day, right? So now I'm going to talk about talent, right? And how it could be useless if you don't know how to use it, right? So there's many people out there, right? With a lot of skill, with a lot of talent, with a lot of uh, drive. But they don't have, yes, the opportunities. They don't have... Uh, the means to even sell themselves, right? This is exactly why I put these three together because they go together, right? It doesn't matter how good you are at videos. It doesn't matter how good you are at basketball. It doesn't matter how good you are in anything. If you do not have eyes seeing you, how can anybody know you're going to be good, right? If you're so talented at something and you have no audience, no traffic, nothing, how can anybody know you're really, really that talented, right? So the reason I say talent can be useless if you don't know how to use it is because just having talent isn't enough now, right? Just having skill isn't enough now. You got to have all these other things too to help, right? Which is why you see advertisements on TV, which is why you see people, I guess, even on something like social media, people posting more, so the algorithm favors them more and shows their stuff more. That's kind of endorsing them, right? Or through friends, through family, right? talking about you, you know, saying good things about you behind your back, right? These are things to endorse you, to advertise you, so that your talent is more heard about, more recognized, in a sense, right? So, in many ways, you could have you could have it all, but at the same time, you need you may need the eyes, you may need the audience, you may need all those things to see what you got, right? So the reason I talked about these three is because they go really well together, and I want to kind of talk about it moving forward into twenty twenty, right? I can't believe two thousand nineteen is over, man. Can you believe two thousand nineteen is over? It's crazy, right? But uh, we gotta just have a different perspective about everything moving forward, right? We got to think deeper. We got to think all around, right? Because a lot of us are talented. A lot of us are skilled. A lot of us have it all, right? I'm not going to lie, but we just need to invest more in getting the eyes to us, right? We got to invest more, and that's where I'm getting at, right? Instead of investing in things that may not be good for you, and I'm not also I'm not always talking about financially. I'm also talking about in terms of your time, in terms of your energy, in terms of your focus, right? Because people focus in the wrong places. People focus on the wrong things, right? If you fully invest 
that's when the audience will come. That's when the opportunities will come. That's when you have more opportunities, right? That the keyword opportunities to sell yourself so more people can be sold, right? But yeah, we just gotta move in with that mindset in 2020, right? We just gotta be better overall as as people. I gotta be better, right? This is the first episode of the Moon Motivation Podcast, right? So I just wanna just be natural, right? Not be too robotic, too scripted, right? Get just enough to put out the message. And as it grows, I can add more equipment, add more of that kind of stuff, right? But for now, just the main focus is to inspire and motivate people to be better, right? Inspire and motivate people to optimize themselves. The main aim of this podcast is to do that, right? I'm not here to show off or to show that I have all the gadgets or to show that I know everything. It's just based on life experiences. It's just based on what I've done, what I know. And based on what I've also learned about that I'm sharing, right? Some people may agree, some people may disagree, but at least I'm putting my opinion out there and at least some people can benefit, right? And some people can ask questions and things like that, right? We just want to grow together. We just want to be better as people, right? And moving forward into 2020, we just got to be better. We just got to find a way to get more opportunities. We just got to find a way to use our talents to the maximum. We just got to find a way to use those two things to be able to sell, sell, right? I'm not talking finances, I'm, I'm talking about us, right? Because each day we are selling, right? We're selling us, right? Because in all truthfulness, w later on when it comes to finances, the people don't really buy the product, they buy the person, they buy into the person, right? Especially with something like personal training and things like that, they buy into the person, right? Because you see it all the time, the trainers, may not always know what they're doing they may not get the results for the clients but the clients keep coming back why because they formed some sort of relationship the personal trainer sold themselves pretty well right which gave them the opportunity to stick with the client right and the client was sold by that so we got to find different ways to to sell ourselves right using our talents and which gives us more opportunities to shine, right? So that was really our first episode of the podcast, right? I, I really appreciate you guys coming in. Make sure to uh, tag a friend. Make sure to like the video, you know, and make sure to stay tuned for more episodes. All right. Peace.